Big 3-2 here from Chagua. Anderson drives it into left center field. Kiermaier's back, it's gone. Tim ties the ball game on a 3-2 pitch, leading off the ninth. I love this kid, man. I really do. He's just fun to watch, man. He, he just never gives up. He's always playing the game. He's always present. He's he's right where his feet are, man. He doesn't. He's not thinking about post game. He's not thinking about what happened earlier in the game. He just shows up at that moment. He's present. He just ties the game for the Sox. I love. Second. Tim grounds a slider through the right hand side. Collins waved around third. Here comes Zach. Throw to the plate is offline. Tim's into second base, and seven did it again at 6-5 Sox. What a night by T.A. He's been doing it all game. He's been the spark plug. He he got them going earlier in the game with an amazing slide on a pitch or on a play he should have been out. Hits a home run in the ninth to tie the game, take it to extras, and then does exactly what we were just talking about. Goes the other way on a slider and just Jose toward third, Yandy Diaz had to back up on it, and this is caught at first, but the Sox get a run on a high chopper. So Tim comes home yet again. That's his fourth run of the ball game, and the Sox are up seven to five. Same recipe as they had earlier in the game that we had just talked about, that you made a great uh, slide at home plate. Chopper, they're going on contact. TA is off immediately, and no chance to get him with that chopper, and then a really good pick by Choi to actually to, uh, to get the out. He got him in the Sox win. Oh, he fashioned him a changeup. And Tim Anderson in the Sox put up seven with two in the 11th and win seven to five. Count in his favor for a change. Right, and now uh, that's what I was thinking. In the zone. Smash, deep left center field. It is gone to Souvenir City. The a three run homer to put Cleveland on top. Well, he came back and he tried to trick him with a 3-1 slider, and he hung it. And it spins out over the plate right into his wheelhouse. He threw the fastball by him earlier, and he comes back with a 3-1 slider, middle of the plate, and the big man hit it out of the ballpark. That's what you need right there. He's back home. He's feeling good about himself. Smash, left field base hit. Miles scores. Here comes Ahmed. It's a two-out, two-run single for the Franimal. And the Indians tack on two more and lead it 7-1. to one. Give him five RBIs on. Tried to run the fastball in. It keeps it upstairs. Big man gets that foot down early, finds the hole between short and third. Freed, who's got the ball for Atlanta tonight. Max Freed's won three in a row. Mancini. And that one's knuckled toward Freeman. He'll throw on the run to second for one. On to first is in time. A double play. Max Freed, no to work, no score. And he struck him out with a fastball. First strikeout. He's faced the minimum through two and a third. And former Philly Michael Franco is coming up. Tied him up. Little tapper. Freed leaps, drops, recovers, and retires. Mount. Struck him out, 96. Reno, the catcher, double play in order. There's the ground ball to short. There's one. There's two. Max Freed has a shutout brewing in ball. The 0-2. Swing and a miss. Matout two away in the inning. This is brilliance on display tonight in Baltimore. But they have not been able to square much of a seventh inning single. The only other hit was that infield dribbler by Mateo in the fifth. And a swing and a miss. That breaking ball got out. He just made the AL hits leader look silly with that one. Fastball, fastball, fastball. Working from the first pitch. And when it all comes together, it's a beautiful thing. On the ground. Riley dives. He's got it. The throw. It's a complete game shutout for Max Freed. The first nine inning complete game of that young man's career. His 37th lifetime win. The win streak for Atlanta has reached seven. They've won 11 straight on the road. The Orioles dropped their 16th straight, and Jeff, the Braves still perfect 